Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating a hover over effect um, over um, an element in HTML. So just taking a look at this example quickly, I've got a link just here and I've got an image just below that. Now, the overall effect we're trying to achieve is when we hover over a particular element, we're going to take a description from a custom, custom attribute that we give this element and then we're going to display it in a box as we hover over. So the effect's quite cool and it's it's found on quite a few uh, websites, mainly when you have uh, content, you know, you want to show your users or give your users a description of the content as they hover over, be it an image, uh, a link or anything else. So you can see that when I hover over Google, I've got this div uh, element that's following my cursor and it has a description which says Google a powerful search engine. So the link still works, we can go ahead and click on it and, and go over to that link. Uh, but we've assigned a particular class to this link to allow us to display this description uh, accordingly. Uh, we can also use it with images as well. So you can see I've got a tartan pattern here and my description here, a lovely tartan pattern. So that will work as long as the cursor is hovered over this particular element. So the way I've created the code for this tutorial is so you can easily use it and modify it, uh, not modify it really, I mean you can feel free to modify it if you like, but the the overall idea of this is so we can e really easily and quickly um, add um, more elements. So if we wanted to go ahead and create the link we can do, but then to create the image all we need to do is create an image and we don't need to modify the jQuery code whatsoever. So the reason I've done it this way is, is is it because it acts more like a plugin. So you only have to ever include a div element on your page if you want to use um, this uh, feature. Uh, and then you can go ahead and add elements and add in the descriptions straight into the element, into an attribute, and this will work. So as long as you follow this tutorial and complete it and everything works, you can go ahead and actually use this throughout your website and use it on any, any element whatsoever. So now that you've seen an example, we're going to go ahead and look at start creating this and start uh, testing out these uh, the specific functionality that makes this work. Uh, and we'll eventually end up with an effect like this. So let's go ahead and start writing the code. Okay, so we're over to our text editor. Uh, we have an HTML5 template just laid out. The important includes that we need are the style sheet, which I have open just here. Uh, and I've included that just here. Um, and we obviously need jQuery included as well and I've kept this in my JS folder so taking a look at the directory structure we have index.php we've got style.css which can be found in the CSS folder and we then have jQuery.js which is found in the JS folder so we need to create an external script that's going to handle specific operations or specific event handler uh, handling so we need to go ahead and just create a new document uh, and I'm going to save that inside the JS folder. And I'm going to call this uh, hovertext.js. So now that I've got hovertext.js, I want to go and um, actually include this on my page. So we do exactly the same as we would with jQuery. And we just include this as a script include uh, inside of our page. And that's going to mean that everything we write in uh, hovertext.js uh, will be able to be used inside uh, this page. So hovertext.js. Okay, so now that we've got that included, we're going to go ahead and create a link and test some um, hover hover over or sorry not hover over uh, mouse move uh, event handling. So let's go ahead and create our link, and I'm just going to call this Google as I did before. Uh, set the link uh, location, and let's go ahead and just refresh our page. So I've got Google, um, the standard link just on a page and it works. So we need to think about um, how we're going to handle um, the hover, well, hovering over this and then displaying the um, div that we're going to create in just a moment in style.css. So let's go ahead and do uh, hovertext.js in just a moment. I almost forgot to assign a class to this. I'm going to assign a class to this called hover link. Now by assigning a class to this, you can then go ahead uh, and create other elements on your page with the same um, class 
and uh, oh no, I'm just going to call this hover. Sorry, uh, we can assign a class to any element on our page called hover, uh, and that will allow us to take advantage of the functionality that we're going to build around this. So now that we've assigned a class to it, we can come over to hover text.js and we can uh, select this particular class. So we use a selector, uh, we use a dot, and then we say hover. Now we're going to assign an event handler to this to uh, uh, handle the event when the mouse moves over this particular element or the element with the class hover. So I'm going to say mouse move. Now inside here we need to go ahead and create a function. So I just outline a function and then we just come down and we can start writing code in here. So the code that I'm just going to write for now is going to be alert mouse over or mouse move. And what this is going to do is on any element that has hover, i.e. our link just at the moment, when the mouse moves over it, we're going to alert out mouse move. So quite simple stuff, um, but when I move over, you can see that it says mouse move. So now that we have this in place, we know that we've got the functionality required to return perhaps specific coordinates uh, of where the mouse uh, is on this element. 